on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah Yes, hi How are you doing? Yeah, so I would like you to tell the Yaka story, how did you come up with all this? So, um, so we, it's not, it's not only me, we're, we're a big team, okay. we're a team of, uh, of, of people with different backgrounds okay. and uh, I think we all had like a, a, a common need and a common motivation to, uh, to find a way of, of, of how to add value to, to whatever we can plant and we can, uh, we can farm in this country. So. Uh, so we, we have beautiful fruits and we have beautiful ingredients all around uh, Ghana mm -hmm. and the idea was to how can we use all of this, put it together and, and do something delicious and healthy. <laughs> so you said you are different people from different races, yeah. so which means including Ghanaians. Yes. So how, how has it been like working with Ghanaians? Fine. It's like everyone really? else in the world, yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think differences. Don't be modest. Differences makes power makes us powerful. I guess okay. you know. Um, um, if you're a team with only the same type of people, it's it's, it's maybe not the best. Okay. So it's always good to have young, older, boy, girl, uh, and that's how you make okay. it the best okay. the best team. Okay. So yeah. during my research, I came up with the concept of yaka, which means come. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, so can you tell us something about that? How how come you chose that name, Yaka? Okay. So and am I pronouncing as well? Yes. Like, yaka. Is it Yaka <laughs> or Yaka? Yes, yeah, it's, yes, it's it's Yaka. Yaka, okay, yaka. South Africa. So okay. yeah, you're pronouncing it very well. Okay. Um and actually, it's actually one of the co founder who was uh who um was living for a very long time in DRC. Okay. And uh, and yeah, so he came up with the idea. Yeah. And it's always something that was around us. Um, it's a bit like bra, bra and come and help. Bra. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm very proud of the team we are today. Uh, we have some people that born a kid. We have some other people who get got married. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's um, it's beautiful to see the evolution of of the team that we can have in a company. Uh, definitely, the beginning is super complicated. Mm -hmm. You wonder when are you going to take you wonder when are you going to have your head out of the water yeah. but afterwards it's really nice okay so um, how did you come up with this whole concept of you know making spreads and then the chili peppers and then all that okay. you, you could have ventured into anything else so why Absolutely. did you choose this yeah this particular um i think it's a lo i love food <laughs> and my partners as well uh i think Food has a big impact on our mood. Yeah. So if we eat well, we are happy. Yes. <laughs> so, if, and and I think like every human being, I want to make people happy, yeah. and my strategy is to do it food. To, to via food. Wow. So uh, and chili, I mean pepper is on our plate since ever. Yeah. And what's life without heat? And what's mm -hmm. life without pepper? Mm -hmm. um, so about the chili peppers, right? This hot chili paste. Yes. So how do you make these things? Is it a normal red pepper you grind and you put in a bottle, or how is the process? So like? we we add our little yaka twist to okay. it. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, but we today we have three different ones. We have actually yeah. four different ones. Okay. Um, so this one is the hot chili paste. We have the we have the mild. We had hot. We have the the okay. medium. We have the hot and the extra hot. Okay, so and which one is the hot, extra hot? The extra hot, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't find it. Okay. But uh, if you want, I can show it later. Okay, so there's passe, the piment, the chili paste, okay. and the hot chili paste. Okay, so this is the French, the French, la this is the French labels. Okay. Because like I told you, we also export in French, French neighboring yeah. country. Yes. Uh, so that's the cool thing too. The idea would be that even our neighbors, they can, they can eat some things from Ghana. From Ghana, yeah. yeah. But in a whole unique way, yeah, like an appreciative exactly. way. You know, I mean, wow. today, wherever you go outside the country, you will hear Ghana music. Yes. So I hope one day with food we can do the same. Yeah, with yaka. Yeah. We just we traveled. I traveled to Malaysia and then I find yaka. <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> no, I'm just saying that someday yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll travel. Hopefully. To Yaka. Yeah. And find Yaka. For yeah. sure. You have to bring it there. I will. Yeah. I will. Seriously. Please do. Please do. Yeah, Every time you take it. Yes. So little... you, you said about the twist. Do you want to go into details about the twist or? What yeah, you if you want. So it's uh, basically uh, red chilies with um, ginger, with garlic, with oil, and with salt. Okay. And uh, all in a proportioned way, not too much salt. Yeah. Uh, we're, so we're, you know, in, with Yaka, we're still keeping uh, the idea of making something delicious mm -hmm. without... Going overboard. Without going over sugar, okay. uh, too, much, uh, too much of salt, too much of fat. So yeah, the idea is to find a balance between healthy and delicious. Okay. So about your packaging, can you tell me about your packaging? Because I'm seeing a woman clothed in pepe, you know, she has pepe yes, earrings, and with the fruit spread too. So you see her in fruit, like yeah, yeah. orange yeah. and stuff. Like, how did you come up with all this? Because it's so enticing. It's so nice. I How think did you come up with this? I think maybe because of the fact that if you eat a fruit, the fruit is in your body afterwards. Wow. So, uh, so if you eat yaka, uh, mango passion, well, you have a mango here and a passion here, <laughs> but you will have it in your body, though. But uh, I mean, the the, the 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 nutritional values of mango is really good for the skin and uh, etc. I mean, I think whatever you eat makes 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 who you are it becomes a pattern yeah exactly so it was wow. a bit of, uh, of playing with that yeah, yeah. Wow. wow well it's enticing thank you so keep up with it so how has your entrepreneurship journey been like how has it been since you started because you said you you came out in covid like during covid yes, yes. so how has the journey been so far <laughs> how is it going <laughs> <laughs> So the journey so far was actually interesting, mm -hmm. up and downs, like everything. Yeah. And uh, but you know, it's you learn, yeah. you learn, and when you fall, you get up stronger. And I mean, for me, it was really interesting because I would have never met so many people, such as you, for instance, or I would have never go so far discovering places around, mm -hmm. and um, also seeing different side of the industry, different side of the business. Of, uh, it's it's like it's like having an overlook of the whole chain from A to Z, yeah. Z. and yeah it's interesting I mean I would definitely start again if I had and do it again if okay. I had to um, and, I'd adv and I'd advise everybody to, to to you know take some experience around and then when they think that they're ready definitely they should go without thinking that it will come like that yeah okay it takes time uh, for me, it's like a baby, uh, you know, it's uh, nine months in the, in the belly. Yeah. It took me a year and something yeah. to, uh, for research and development, so it's the same. And then when the baby is born, mm -hmm. he's not going to run, he's not gonna run and, 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 yeah. and sing and whatever yes. straight away. Yes. So there's, there's, there's a process that takes time and I think it's an interesting process for sure. Uh, Ghana, uh, I think it's the best time also here in Ghana, um, the economy is good, um, we are in a beautiful country, so uh, definitely, and our generation, our time is now, so uh, I invite all the, the young guys and girls that are motivated to, to try. Yeah. Okay, so in the future, are you looking to add more products to this? Absolutely. So in the future, we are looking to add some uh, cereals. Okay. So, and we're looking to add some other nice little snacks and mm -hmm. things like that that could be part of a beautiful table. Because yeah. uh, the idea of food is to share. Yes. So the more we can bring out things that are possible to be shared and. Uh, Spread the love and uh, the beauty of Africa. Why not? Okay. So yeah, so, there's a few little surprises. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, it's me once again, Lady Abnaya Boa. And guess what? I'm at Yaka Taste of Africa. Wow. They brought me to their factory to see where the magic happens with everything that goes that goes on with the branding, creativity. You know, the brains and the taste, the different shades of taste you guys have been enjoying. 
So follow me, let's go and then see where the magic happens. Oh, I see you have a variety of sprays. Yes. Yeah, so this one is the honey. So what goes in, into it? Is it a raw honey? So this is a special honey okay. from, uh, from Ghana that is actually Moringa Blossom Honey. It means, means that um, the flower of the Moringa mm -hmm. uh, farm um, are actually picked by the, the bees and so, so it's a special honey made only with Moringa flower in our, in our large farm uh, that is organic certified okay. and uh, so it gives a special taste. I will invite you to, to have a, a try if you don't mind. Yes, yeah, yes. Love to. okay, so there we go. And I'll also make you see the color. Okay. Okay, so go ahead. Okay. You can put it inside. You can try it like that okay. to have like a first taste. <laughs> good? Yes, <Yeah>, good. <laughs> it is nice. Okay, try on a piece of bread. Okay? Thank you. And uh, usually what we do, um, you, can, you can take some bread in the morning, you can toast it. Uh, and it's very easy to, to, to spread on it. Mm -hmm. So we have only one type of honey okay. that is very rich in nutrients yeah. and minerals, 100% mm -hmm. um, organic and from Ghana. Wow. Um, you got everything from Ghana? Yes, please. So everything is 100% made in Ghana mm -hmm. uh, by our young and motivated team. Mm -hmm. um, we're approximately 25 employees today. Wow. And we started three years ago with a one year of research and development. Mm -hmm. I would say one and a half year of research and development. Okay. Then we started selling in the middle of COVID. So it was challenging wow. but interesting. Because yes. yeah. you said you spent one year to do research yes. before coming up. Absolutely. Let me to put in place all the. We think of a business today, tomorrow they plant the business. <laughs> Well, I wish it was like that. I'm an example of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish it was like that, but unfortunately, it takes so much time. <laughs> so I would advise all entrepreneurs mm -hmm. to, um, although they already have a, a job on the side yeah. and they've loved their new project, mm -hmm. which uh, which will be smarter because you need the cash flow. Yeah. And, uh, and unfortunately, yes, a, a project takes a lot of time yeah. to, to grow. And we're still growing. I mean, we're... We're still very at a young stage of our sales. We are um, available in Ivory Coast, okay. in Benin, Togo, wow. Senegal, wow. France, Belgium. But oh. uh, it takes time. Yeah. It takes time. Already to, to, to be available everywhere in Accra was, was hard um, due to the fact that there's a lot of imported products mm -hmm. yeah. and um, most of the supermarkets are distributing this foreign products foreign so products. coming yeah. as a local product but, um, usually people don't yeah, really trust it mind, uh, yeah but we're working so, on it yeah so, so that was one? this one is food spread so this Wait. is my favorite that's your favorite that's my favorite it's called the, the yaka mango passion and baobab bao powder okay so um so what, what goes into this this one so what goes into this so mango and passion fruit and uh, a little bit of baobab powder that is rich in vitamin and fiber. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me let you try this one because it's really nice. Um, I'm sure you will definitely love it. Mm -hmm. Oops. Voila. Okay. So try it like that. Then I will make you try it on a piece of bread. Wow. Mm. It feels like mango cut into pieces. <laughs> wow. Yes, so there is usually jams is 50% sugar, 50% fruits. So we are. And there's less sugar in this. Yes, absolutely. Um, the idea was to, to make it 80% fruit and 20% sugar because we are obliged to have a little bit of sugar to, to, to be able to keep it on a, on a longer term. So yeah, it's really like you're, you're biting into a fruit. A fruit, yes. Mm. And do you like the little piece of um, passion that is crunchy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's a great way to start your day. Yeah, this start is your a day with, with sunshine, start your day with a fruity taste on your mouth. Yeah. And definitely helps you to, to have wow. a good mood. Yeah. So now we have the. Yes. Um, mango orange. Okay, so there's mango. 
passion. Passion, and there's mango orange. Absolutely. What's the difference? So one has passion in it. Um, so we're keeping the main ingredient, so mango. Mm -hmm. And so this one we're mixing it with the, the mango, the, the orange pulp. Okay. And uh, still putting boba powder in it mm -hmm. to, 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 to have a very strong, uh, to, have, to have vitamins inside. Okay. And um, so I would, I would be happy to make you try as well. Like this you can also feel the difference. Yeah, okay. From the passion and then the orange. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sometimes it's a bit uh, hard to open, or maybe I don't you know. Just try it. Okay, let me try. But like, you know, if yeah. I open, there's a camera. People will be like, I'm stronger than you. Okay, I'll do a technique for you. I'll do a technique. Okay, okay go ahead. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that would have been funny. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just bring me some few tissues. Okay. So tell me, how do you like it? Okay. This one has a bit mm -hmm. of a sour taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unlike the passion. Okay. I think I'll go for the passion. If I'm yeah. To buy, yeah. Okay. But it's equally nice. And yeah, you see you the passion is really... Uh, you can feel the orange. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This <laughs> one is pineapple hibiscus vanilla. Yes. Wow. You know hibiscus in Ghana refer to it as sobolo. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so absolutely. it's sobolo in this one. <laughs> yes, 100%. Wow. So, and the vanilla is from Ghana as well. Uh, it comes from an organic farm. Um, so do you have the farm? So we do have few farms. Okay. But of we, your own that yes. you grow all your products. Okay. But we also we can't have farms for everything, everything because it will be very difficult for us as a young on to, on a, as a young company to control. Mm -hmm. So we usually do deals with farmers in order to secure the, the their harvest mm -hmm. and for us to secure also um, our our raw material. Mm -hmm. So farms are spread all around the country, depending on which fruits or um, or which ingredients we're looking for. And um, so yeah, so we put our rules and we agree on, uh, okay. on something and we agree on the price in advance. Okay. So for us it's good because okay. we know that we'll have our our, so our yes, we'll have our, the, the amount of ingredients we need. Okay. And for the farmer it's good because. He doesn't need to stress on oh my god when am I going to yeah what price am I going to be able to sell yeah. to who am I going to sell it so it's it's a good way to to work in peace and to to work in a constructive way to to, yeah, so to, to, to grow together. Have you together. had challenges with these farmers? Because you kept saying organic, organic, organic. Mm -hmm. What if he tells you oh I go it organically but mm -hmm. he doesn't. Have so you had this kind of challenges? So um, we didn't have this kind of challenges. Perhaps every time we receive a new batch, mm -hmm. we do tests. We, okay. we test it or other we, we send it to a Ghana Standard Authority okay. and they proceed to, a, to several steps. Okay. Uh, we always check uh, if the, the quality is as fresh as possible. Okay. We also, like once a month, go to the farms. Mm -hmm. And check. Yes, we're together, we're, we're, we're seeing if it's growing okay. the proper way. Yeah, okay. uh, I think the big challenge I had here was transport. Okay. Transport is not easy, usually very expensive. Very expensive. And if the if the truck broke down uh, and the fruits are in the back, back yeah. Right. So yeah, so that's the few challenges I could have. Uh, perhaps now I'm lucky. I'm watching good. <laughs> Everything is okay uh, okay. for the moment. Okay. So this, the last one is papaya lemon mint. Oh, I can't wait to try it. Papaya. Popo, popo, popo. This is popo. Papaya, lemon Papaya, mint. papaya is that a tip? <laughs> papaya is uh, the nicest chicken and rice. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, so I, love, I love papaya. This is a papaya. 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 Papaya, you can call it popo. Popo? Yeah. So, so we have several types of popo. Yeah. 
and uh, we have the Popo, the solo, papaya solo, we have, uh, we'll have, we have like three, four main papaya. Okay. So uh, this one is mixed with lemon and mint. Okay. So you will see that the taste is, is, is interesting because I won't say much, I'll let you come up with your feedback. Yes. Please go ahead. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm jealous. I'll take one too. <laughs> How do you feel the meaty thing coming? Yeah. At the end. At the end. Mm -hmm. Like mojito. Okay. Yeah, yeah, in mojito. It's mojito. Yeah. That is good. Is it Spanish? <laughs> yes, it is. Try mojito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Get this in the morning. Yeah. With your tea. So usually we um during like festive season, so Christmas, New Year's Eve, um, Chinese New Year's Eve, um, for a wedding, for a birthday, we usually pack four of them. Okay. In a special pack. Like okay, that. so they come in this. So you can buy it single, single, single in the supermarket. Yeah. But you can also order it uh, as as a pack, as a, as a present. You know, yeah. it comes like that. We have gift card, gift cards. We do not have gift cards, unfortunately, but we are really good at gifts. Like uh, <laughs> whatever you guys say, and then we can put a sticker. We can we can yeah. always make it nice, deliver it as a surprise. You know what made me fall in love with your products? Mm -hmm. It's the branding. Thank you. Just look at this. It's so attractive. Like it entices you to taste it. It's so attractive, guys. So <laughs> look at this. It's a cartoon. But... <laughs> so do you know what yaka means? Come. Yes. Come. I did my research. Good one. Come in, in letters. In which language? Uh, Sri. Is it Sri Lanka? No. Uh, Lingala. Lingala. Yes. Lingala. Yeah. Lingala. Yes, please. Exactly. Good job. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I did that research. <laughs> yes. Oh, it was nice. It was nice. Yeah, so Yaka means come, and it's a way of inviting people to, to have a taste of Africa. Wow. Um, so in the in the main team we're set from, from different parts of the world. Um, I personally was born and raised in Nigeria. I grew up here in Ghana. Uh, yeah, I was in school here and I was working for like a, co a big corporation. But uh, mainly things are important here. Yeah. And when we export, we export it's the raw, raw, the raw material, a mm -hmm. uh, raw mm, in a, in a raw form. So the idea was to stop in, stop importing and start exporting finished product. Yeah. So let's do two things at the same time. Okay. And I did my studies in France and you can't find much in Europe about mm -hmm. Africa. Yeah. Uh, if you do, it's already transformed products using our yeah. ingredients. So the idea was to also bring Africa to a, to a larger audience. audience. Okay and to also make international people discover the few tastes, uh, found the taste that we can have here and also how delicious things can be. Yeah. Yeah. We, we really care about our customers okay. and we, we, expect, we want them to have a, a very good product with a very quality product and so we ensure that everything is hygienic over here we we after washing we ensure that anyone um, in association with the jam preparation is really clean. Okay. The hands are sanitized or uh, are washed and then sanitized with the hair net and nose masks and everything. Yeah, it's so that we have a hygienic jam for our customers. Wow, yeah. that is excellent, guys. These people go way yeah. into bringing you the quality yeah. stuff, the quality products you yes. guys have been enjoying. Yes, yes. See, I enjoy the pepper and yes. I was blown it's away. Really nice. It's really, it's really nice. nice. Yes. And I you can, you can count on that for oh. the quality you can count on us. 
Wow, I prepared pasta with it and I really enjoyed it. Wow, you guys are doing so well. Yeah. So yeah. what would you so tell much. people out there who haven't tasted any of your products, the Yaka taste of Africa? Anyone who hasn't tasted, see all this hard work people are putting into it. If someone has not tasted, then you need to tell them something. What are you telling all those people? I tell those people they are not taking Yaka yet. I'm mm -hmm. telling them to try it. Yeah. It's the best modern way. Yeah, with food. We are going to enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. Enjoying it's it. really nice. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And it's very high Yes. Thank you very Thank much. Where can we yeah. find this product? Where can we find it? So this product, if you leave in Accra, okay. you can find it in the main supermarket such okay. as uh, Max Mart, okay. Marina Mall, okay. you can find it in health shops okay. around East Legon, okay. uh, you can find it in, in, a, in a bakery called La Boulacra, okay. uh, it's a French bakery. Okay. Um, you can also order it through WhatsApp, you can order it through Instagram, our Instagram is Yaka. Dot stories yes. and uh, and yeah it's a fun Instagram yeah, a lot then, of colors yeah I live in Terma and I got mine from farmers market yes farmers, absolutely farmers. farmers market you can yeah. find our chilies yes. uh, you can find it at game game supermarket okay so they have uh, I think six or five all around the country so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. If you live abroad, mm -hmm. we can always send it. Okay. If you live in Europe, mm -hmm. it's the, available as well because okay. we have a we have like a little warehouse in Belgium. Okay. And um, so yeah, it's very easy. Just easy contact us on Instagram. Instagram, yeah. yeah. Okay. So do you do wholesaling? Like, do you sell to wholesalers? Yes, absolutely. We do sell to wholesalers, distributors. So if ever okay. there's someone who has a shop. And would like to add this just contact us through instagram or through my whatsapp and uh, okay. the number is uh, plus two two three five five six seven four six nine five six okay so okay. <laughs> yeah i know you've said a lot but to sum everything up tell our viewers you know those watching from abroad from ghana all over the world why should we try yeah we should try a Yaka Taste of Africa because it's behind, behind, behind this there is approximately a hundred people working, a hundred Ghanaian, young, motivated uh, people working behind. So, you know, I always say um, you choose with your wallet or your wallet has a certain power where you have the choice between an imported product and a locally made product okay. go for the locally made because there is a whole economy behind it yeah there is a whole numbers of people that worked hard that is doing waking up early doing things nice for the country yes. it's good for the nation mm -hmm. so i would say yeah purchase yaka or something else but purchase locally made products yeah. that's really a first step to help our economy, to help Ghana, to help Africa grow and be independent. So uh, yeah, have fun, enjoy. Yeah. You have the sweet <laughs> one and the chili been one. So, so interesting, yeah. Yeah. That's been so interesting, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Visit any of the shops he mentioned. And if, if they want to do wholesaling, where should they come to? Or they should just visit your Instagram handle? Yes, yes, so visit my Instagram, Instagram but you can also find a link through my WhatsApp, I'm sure. You will put it. Yeah, I'll put and, it there for uh, them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we're open to everything. We're open to everybody. Suggestions, mm -hmm. feedbacks. Yeah. Uh, we're open to to know what did you think about our products. Follow mm -hmm. us on Instagram because yes. we are always yaka.stories. Yes, yaka.stories. So the stories of yaka. Stories of yes. Yaka.